Let's go over to September the 18th, 2018. So, Deshaun Jackson comes out, makes a statement, basically stating, like, I think Fitzpatrick has, has earned the right to stick with the guy, right? That you don't make any changes. He even compared it to the video game NBA Jam. And anybody kind of in my age bracket that played NBA Jam back in the day, when you guys on fire, right, you just keep giving them the ball, right? You're not going to take Fitzpatrick out right now. I think it's pretty obvious that this team is pretty fired up right now. The confidence level, the, the swag, the, just the, everything right now. I mean, I know it's only two games in, but you don't mess with it, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I just, you know, like I said before, I'm a huge Damus guy, but you got to stick with Fitzpatrick here. Um, more than anything, though, right now, I, I, I'm i such a big believer in, in culture and in just that whole vibe, that positive energy, um, the swagger, whatever you want to call it, right? I mean, I've watched teams do this. I, You go back to the Panthers. I'm here in Charlotte. You go back to the Panthers when they went to the Super Bowl and went 15-1. and won. Like, that team just got on a roll. I mean, they just – and I'm not saying – I'm not comparing the Bucks to that, saying they're going to, you know, do that or anything like that. But I'm just saying that's how big momentum, that's how big that positive energy and that belief can be in a football team, any team, right? any sport you're playing, right? So I think it's huge. I look at the Eagles last year, you know. I, I've gotten in arguments with people because I really, I didn't feel like the Eagles were the most talented team in the NFL. I just felt they came together better than any other team in the NFL. They had that mantra, that underdog mentality, like it was us against the world. It was just... It was the perfect storm for Philadelphia to win a Super Bowl. Again, I'm not saying that that's what the Bucks are on a trajectory to do here is to win a Super Bowl just because they've won two games. Like, I'm not going bonkers here. But what I am saying is you don't mess with that energy. You don't mess with it at all. You know, I'm a big-time Jameis Winston fan. I love him. I'm a supporter. I'll always support him. But first and foremost, I said this. I'm a Bucks fan. I want the Bucks to do well. And you keep riding this. You ride it as long as you can. If it's two games, three games, five games, ten games, the whole season, whatever. You ride it. And you just hope that Fitzpatrick can keep it going. You hope that the team can keep it going. And you hope that the defense can just step up just a little bit. But I've talked about this before. You know, I'm, I, I, I can talk X's and O's. I can get into all that. I can get into, you know, talent level on each team. But ultimately... The X's and O's and the talent, right, separated from team to team, I just don't think it's that much. I don't think that there's that much of a difference between the Patriots and the Browns when you're talking talent. I mean, I look at the Browns and I see a lot of talent. And I know I'm kind of going crazy here and you probably just stopped in your foot tracks and I'm like, what, did he just say the Browns and the Patriots? But I'm just saying from the best player in the league to the worst player in the league, there's a lot of talent out there. But, but up here, like that... You can't, like, that's just there. Like, that's something you can't train. You can't lift weights. Like, that's just got to be there. And so when a team comes together like that, that's when that's when you see that built. I, I think that's what's happened in in, in New England. And, and, you know, I mentioned that. And, I, and, again, you say, like, wow, you're crazy for referencing the Patriots and the Browns in the same sentence. But, but look at some of the receivers that, that the Patriots have run out there. Look at some of the players on defense. Like, they leave and, like, where do they go? Like, they just disappear. Nobody knows who they are anymore. But when they're in, you know, when they're in New England, they do great. Uh, Look at Josh Gordon. He's probably going to be a freaking Hall of Famer now going to the Patriots. I know I'm exaggerating a bit, but the dude's talented. Watch him just destroy the league in, in New England. You know? Everybody counted Randy Moss out. They said he was done. Goes to New England. Brings his career back to life. It's a culture, it's a mindset, it's an energy around the team. Bill Belichick has perfected it and uh, and done it for for such a long period of time. But but as a Bucks fan, you got to love this energy right now, and you just got to roll with it. All right. So uh, totally agree with Deshaun here. You stay with it. You don't make any changes, and uh, and you just hope. You know, I think Jameis is that type of guy. He's team first. And you just hope he responds to this well and understands that it is about the team and not about him. 
and uh, and hopefully he grows from this and, and becomes an even better player. You know what I mean? Because um, if you're a Jameis fan, if you're a Bucks fan, ultimately that's what you want to happen anyway, right? So uh, that's about all I got. I hope everybody out there has a great day. Let's just keep this rolling, all right? We'll see what happens next. I will be chiming in after the press conferences probably tomorrow and Thursday. Definitely on Thursday, though. I'll talk to you all later. I'm out.